go for it. Okay, having a little conversation is fine too. <clears throat> so we should be on. Here we go. There we are. Now I'm going to check the sound. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, we are live and welcome back to another WCN Live here in the Wilson County News break room. My name is Kristen Weaver, Director of Operations here at Wilson County News, and today I have two guests joining us. They are Sean O'Brien and, and Tony Frankovia. All right. Can't wait to find out what you're doing here today. Um, right now, I want to thank our sponsor, The Price Way, which includes the dealerships Price, Chrysler, Dodge Ram and Jeep, and Richardson Brothers Chevrolet here in Floresville. They are located next to each other on 181. You can shop all makes and models, as well as a huge service department and also careers. So uh, give them a shout out. They're um, included in the description of this video. And we thank you, The Price Way, for your many sponsorships of WCN Live. Next, um, before we start our conversation, we are going to draw a winner. So as you know, um, those of you that join us every week, um, we ask you to post a comment, anything. And you can also ask us questions, because we will be following your comments. Um, but post a comment on there and when we're live. So we, your name will get um, thrown into the drawing for next week's winner. So right now, if one of you would please draw me a winner. And the winner is Corey Larson. He is a very loyal WCN Live follower. He wins so many of our prizes, but he will win a C Street gift shop gift bag, and we'll be reaching out to you, Corey. So remember to share this video far and wide because we are talking about a very fun event that's happening this weekend. Um, before we get into that, let's go ahead and have a real introduction with you guys and tell us a little about yourselves, uh, well, who you are and where you're from. Sean? Well, I'm Sean O'Brien. Yes. I'm a country singer, uh, real estate broker, rancher. Um, so I've been uh, involved with ranching and horses and everything all my life. And uh, so I guess I, I can say I'm the real deal. You know, I'm not just a guy who puts on a hat once in a while and pretends to be a cowboy. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I've uh, been doing this mm. all my life. Um, started performing professionally probably like right around my senior year in high school. Oh. But I've been singing since I was knee high to a grasshopper. Wow. So I'm excited mm -hmm. to be part of this show. Mm -hmm. I think many people will recognize you and know you from, at least in this area, from the Opry. Yes. You've been at the Opry and many other. Uh, venues that I'm sure we've followed you at and seen you over the years but yes you are you have a wonderful voice and well, we appreciate you, you being thank here you. appreciate that yeah and you hi yeah I'm Tony Frankoviak <laughs> with the band Cactus Country and I'm also representative of the Noble Radio Network I uh, got involved with that uh, last year and that the radio station owner is my neighbor and so he asked me to get involved but mm -hmm. Brenda and I have had cactus country around these parts for uh, actually last Saturday was our 49th anniversary wow. of performing and, and, and that and uh, we've done over a thousand weddings in this area so probably a lot of you out there we were at your, at your, at your wedding <laughs> and and the one that sat I keep nowadays I quit counting those but we've yeah. done 38 weddings for Children of people we played for their wedding. Oh wow! And so, so that that that's the set. We have two more this year, so we'll get up to forty on, on that. But anyway, mm -hmm. but I'm here uh, with this. With the, have been working to produce this event for my neighbor and help put it on. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's a very worthwhile event. As you mm -hmm. get into the questions, you'll 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 learn, and it's a it's a chance for you to for all you to get out mm -hmm. and see some artists that you would not get a chance to see anywhere around here, just because uh, they're older. They've been out there, and yeah. they're, they are still touring. But uh, you know, it's a pretty good expense to bring all of these together, mm -hmm. and so we'll talk about that. Wow. So. That's great, exciting. Well, um, so we wanted David Phillips to be here. Mm -hmm. um, he couldn't be here today, but he is the guy behind Noble Radio. Well, he's the and man. That's right. He is the man, <laughs> and he's the one that's really making pulled all this together, um, along with uh, all the legwork that others like yourself mm -hmm. has helped him to put this together, and then bring the third concert 
to our area, right? Um, so where can we find, tell us a little more what you know about Noble Radio. <coughs> yeah, well, you can look look online, the Noble Radio Network. He's got a pretty good website with that. But he has 11 radio stations down in these parts. The first radio station was down, just down in Kennedy, Texas. Mm -hmm. And his uh, radio station offices are still in Carn City. Mm -hmm. uh, he spent, he grew up uh, or a lot of time spent in Carn City. And so mm -hmm. he still got, got that over there. And uh, he, he just developed the radio network because he really he really believes in uh, um, the uh, uh, bringing the old traditional music to yeah. the areas and that and so he really supports them so he's been involved in entertainment for well over 30 years been with radio for close to 20 years so a lot of, a lot of these stars the the four that uh, have, have been consistent are all personal friends of his. Mm -hmm. In fact, the, uh, the probably one of the biggest stars, or at least for being considered he's in the Songwriters Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. actually, I'll pick him up at the airport tomorrow, he'll stay at David's house yeah. in, in our neighborhood. So, wow. and, and he's 87 years old, so you can tell. He's been he's uh, been around the world as uh, Dickie wow. Lee. And so, yeah. so we talk. So there, this is yeah. a chance, really, of no, no other. Um, we did shows in, in Gonzales in December. We did one in Hebronville mm -hmm. in down in the valley back in March and right. and now in a Texas Pride Barbecue and we really were hoping to get we wanted to do it do it here in Floresville yeah. at the Civic Center but the, that thing's busy we well, I, I couldn't get a date that would work for the artist problem. yeah it's yeah. a good artist but uh, uh -huh. but, but it's a beautiful place and mm -hmm. we really considered it I tried to get it but the dates that I could get the artist right. I couldn't so David said well his friend Tony Talenko right. at Texas is Pride Barbecue may do it in one phone call, mm -hmm. and it's oh, it, it's here. Deal. Texas Pride just right up the road. It is. So. It's there, a great venue. I, I tell mm -hmm. friends who don't know where it is, I said, it's on the border between Bear County and Wilson County. So, <laughs> so, so And it probably is yeah, pretty close. It, so. it, it is. Wow, that's exciting. Um, so then... Let's segue a little bit about Cactus Country, uh -huh. and what do you want to share about your band that you've been around since the 70s? and Yeah, you know, we've, we've been around. We get down this way all the time. We always yeah. try to get out. The, we're, we do um, three or four shows a year in Fall City mm -hmm. at the Community yeah. Center, and, of course, we do a lot of private events and that stuff. Um, but we've been perf performing for, I actually spent a lot, I mean, I was in the corporate world and, mm -hmm. and that for many years, and then Brenda and I owned a granite countertop company for almost 15 years and but but uh sold that to 2008 from for to a young man originally from Polk, texas wow. that's my cousin dustin frank <laughs> yeah, and fun. and uh, his dad still uh, lives in mm -hmm. kosciuszko and works in, in kennedy and uh so we sold that so in 2018 and mm -hmm. for, for the last 30 years of that stuff we were doing 100 shows a year so we wow. uh, working full-time you know mm -hmm. you, you yeah. do that stuff then COVID hit, and that was interesting. And and the post COVID is just the most Another. interesting story. And and before that, in 2018, after we sold the company and started playing in Millmore, we picked up a, a friend of ours, Virginia Matt Matthews, who's a mm -hmm. nine-time Texas fiddle champion. And so that that took our realm of the fiddle wow. stuff. Yeah. Now, fast forward past COVID, we're doing 160 to 170 shows a year, and wow. so that, that's that's how re, that's how mm -hmm. retired life is. On that, <laughs> that stuff. And, and you know, this no, noble thing got to be be mm -hmm. quite quite challenging because when you're dealing with uh, four artists, it's wonderful to deal with right. people like Sean because uh -huh. Sean, we pretty much maybe we had to work with one or two songs, but Sean, mm -hmm. we've been doing the same things for yeah. many years. Yeah. For for these other ones, we had to learn 42 songs. Wow. Yeah. And so, so it's good that yes. we have three events with them, <laughs> right. and they don't change too much. We're only adding one for 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 this event, uh, and because Country uh, Cactus is the ca a cactus, cactus country. Sorry, did we're I the say backup that band. Yeah. You're the backup band, right? The house yeah, we're, band. We're, we're they do an awesome job. Yeah. And just as a little side note. I think the first time I performed with Cactus Country was about 32 years ago. Was it that far? You know that. Well, you got better memory than I do. Well, that's yeah. the, that's it. Was it, and I always tell people I've known Sean close to 35 years, so mm -hmm. now I know it's 32. Mm -hmm. so, so, so we know, mm -hmm. and and he'll tell you how he knows David and and that mm -hmm. stuff. And, and as David says, you know, you know, Sean's not not the Nashville uh, connection, but he's stapled Noble Radio and that yeah. stuff. And 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 Sean's done a great job helping us out on all that over that's there. Great, great. Sean, will uh, tell us a little um, more about your well your role in I this. I know a lot of people mm -hmm. around here have seen me perform live, and mm -hmm. I really enjoy 
getting up there and actually putting on a show. Mm -hmm. I'm not just a stand behind the mic tech guy. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> uh, I enjoy it, and I think the crowd normally enjoys mm -hmm. it. We um, we put on some big shows around here. Um, some of the biggest ones recently mm -hmm. have been at the Opry. Yeah. Oh, really? And yeah. they're sold out yeah. every time I perform there. Yeah. And it's a great crowd. Mm -hmm. And the thing I love about it is everybody loves to dance. Mm -hmm. Every oh, song, yes. the dance like, floor is packed. Get out of their it's, way. That's mm -hmm. so much fun for a performer <laughs> yeah. to see that. You know, it, it, it just is. makes our job so much mm -hmm. more enjoyable mm -hmm. to yeah. actually be singing and watching mm -hmm. people enjoying themselves. You know, yeah. it's that's that's the fun part. That's about an it. entertaining uh, thing as well for just someone who attends but maybe doesn't dance but enjoys watching not only the performers but right. the dancing as well. Right. Yeah. That's and, true. And, and and the art our artists, you know, it's 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 a little different for some of them, but some of them really like dancing. But see, yeah. most of these artists from Nashville and that stuff, they're not used to dancing. Because most of the United States isn't. Right. In fact, I've, I've heard uh, in the past, not these artists, but other artists would actually come into a dance hall in Texas and set up chairs on the dance floor because they yeah. didn't want people dancing. Because oh, it, okay. it did. I, and yeah. I've heard some of the stars, but not not these. These actually like to dance in like Dotsie yeah. from Seguin. We, she was over at our house Monday going through her stuff. And she's like, oh, yeah, that's a good dance song. Mm -hmm. And they go do that one. And, ready that to help. and Linda Davis, who uh, we'll talk, we can talk a little about Linda. She's really... Uh, she's just a top-notch entertainer, and she happens to be mother of uh, Hillary Scott, who happens to be the lead female vocalist in Lady Antebellum. Oh, so, wow, so she's got some real ties to the music. But she, oh. her and her husband have been in the business okay. uh, for f over forty years. Super nice people. And she, know, and she comes in, and and she loves come back to Texas because she's from Carthage, Texas originally. And she she throws in three or four shuffles so people can dance. Mm -hmm. And so, and because okay. most of the places she pl she plays around the United States, mm -hmm. they don't dance. Right. And so so this will be dancing. I mean, we will have oh, everything well, we want, want right, uh, in this plenty, event. Plenty of the, the dance floor is set up. Uh, cool. You can go online when you buy your tickets, you can mm -hmm. see. And it's uh, the full dance floor is available for, for everybody. Well, let's make this real clear then what we're talking about. So what's happening is a concert this Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. I'm sorry. Sunday, you guys. Okay, okay. I'm going to get with it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's happening Sunday. It's at Texas Pride in Adkins. Mm -hmm. And um, it's called God, Family, and Country Legends. Mm -hmm. So you've said a, a few of the artists' names. Mm -hmm. um, maybe go through the list. Um, again, do you have okay. that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You get to deal with, deal, deal with them. <laughs> Sean, does, Sean does, too. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're going to get started about one thirty because Dave, David really liked to try to since the Sunday make an early early mm -hmm. afternoon the, with this many artists it can can be, can get run long. Doors will open at noon. Uh, yeah, noon. north of noon, okay. and Sunday. and we'll we'll kick things off for a little bit about one thirty. On that, Sean mm -hmm. will then come in after that. Mm -hmm. Then we have Dickie Lee. Dickie Lee is the eighty-seven year old right. I was telling you about. Wow. Dickie's an interesting. Nice. He's who he was in the, put in the ninth in the Hall of Fame, uh, country uh, song Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame in nineteen ninety five. But Dickie really goes goes back long. He has five number one hits as a singer, but he's written ten number one hits for other people as a writer. As yeah. a writer. And so that's why he's in the Writers Hall, Hall of Fame. Nice. And so he has got more stories. He's and, amazing. He looks like he's about 70. Aww. Yeah, he does. Still there, and I'll see. I that's play great. golf with him tomorrow, so we'll see. <laughs> I, I, I hear he's still playing. He's all excited. But that's but Dickie... For those of you out there, you know you don't recognize the name at first. His biggest probably hit was a song in the in the mid '70s called Rocky, and then in the late '70s, early '80s, he had a song called Nine Million Nine Hundred Ninety Nine Thousand Nine Hundred Ninety Nine Tears. Oh, so that's out there. That was good. <laughs> but, but he, he still still gets them, but but Dickie's songwriting is really the 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 in there. He wrote one of George's George Jones's. Top, probably I'd say top three hits, She Thinks I Still Care. Aww. That song went number wow. one for George Jones in 1962. <laughs> that states it. But as Dickie yeah. tells the story, he that songwriter, man, he did really well. Um, then Ann Murray from Canada had it as a hit in the 70s. Right. And then it crossed over to the pop charts and hit number one on the pop charts twice in the 70s by Dickie's personal friend, 
who most of us remember called Elvis Presley. <laughs> so Dickie was only two years younger than Elvis, if you go look up. And so he can sit in our studio and tell us stories mm -hmm. about going to the movie theaters that Elvis would rent out. And, yeah. that. and, and he has stayed at Graceland yeah. oh. and all that. So to hear, wow. hear stories. What a star. But uh, uh, Dickie mm -hmm. uh, and Gonzalez, he did all of his older hits that he wrote. And he's written hits for Reba McIntyre and... And uh, of course, George yeah. Jones and and uh, Dave and Sugar, but uh, I, he didn't do one of the songs in Gonzalez. I said, Dicky, you're in Texas. You need to do this song. And he said, said, why? And so he said, but it's too new. I said, no, it's not. <laughs> it was it was a it was 1996 song of the year <laughs> for for Tracy Bird uh, oh. called Keeper of the Stars. Oh my God! And so wow. I told Dicky, when you had that song yes. out. Probably 90% of the weddings had that as their wedding song. Mm -hmm. So so he said, okay, well, I'll do that one. But then I had another hit, uh, personally, he didn't write it, called Rocky in 1975. And I knew Rocky by another artist, but I knew it by a pop artist. We went and looked it up. That pop artist only had it as a number nine hit. Brenda looked it up. Dickie had it as a number one hit wow. in 1975 on the country charts, Billboard wow. country charts. So cool. so we did those cool. two two songs. And when he did Keeper of the Stars down in Heverville, mm -hmm. the dance floor was as packed as it was. On, that was the most packed it got. And he said, man, they really like it. I said, you should have asked them how many had their wedding yet. Right. So so then for her, he said, well, I guess I'll have, since y'all like to dance in Texas and you were mentioning about dance, mm -hmm. he said, I guess at Texas Pride, we'll have to do the number one I wrote for George Strait. I was like, eh, yeah, that would be pretty nice. Yes, <laughs> it would. Dickie wrote George Strait's 1983 hit called Let's Fall to Pieces Together. Oh, my God. And, and wow. so tomorrow night we'll That's be great. learning that with Dickie. So to talk to guys of that caliber and to have that. Great. After Dickie is Deborah great. Allen. Deborah Allen's another songwriter. Most of you will remember she had a 1983 country hit and pop hit. It was a smash hit that took her around the world, she says, called Baby I Lied. Mm. I still hear that on the radio mm. all the time. And she, Deborah is still singing like that that, and can mm. do it. She wrote, but then she wrote, she wrote a bunch of other hits. She had a, two or three hits back in the 80s, but she wrote uh, um, uh, hits for uh, J Janie Fricky's first number one hit, she mm -hmm. wrote. She wrote a uh, number one hit for Patti Loveless, who made in the Country Music Hall of Fame last year. She wrote a hit for John Conley, mm -hmm. who we wrote for twice. So she's wow. quite a songwriter. She's an incredible artist. Yeah. Yeah. And, and she can play. Voice. Yeah, beautiful voice mm -hmm. and that. And so she's actually going to be doing some uh, um, promotional work and some uh, interviews and stuff like you're doing here mm -hmm. on Noble Radio Network this mm -hmm. fall. Nice, so nice. She lives in Nashville in that. Okay. Then our, our last wow. main uh, f uh, entertainer that, that we have as part of this network is Linda Davis. And, and Li was it? Oh, Dotsie. I'm Dotsie. sorry, Dotsie. I miss yeah. Dotsie. Oh, Dotsie, yeah. as our good friend, she comes over. Dotsie, of course, most of y'all know, she grew up in Seguin, uh, Texas. And, uh, but then in the 70s, mm -hmm. had a string of hits for RCA Records. And she was actually on the same mm -hmm. record label as Dickie. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, so, so they know each other, and they're, they're kind of like family reunion. Dotsie is... Just wonderful. Dotsie's got a very low voice for lady stuff and just selling, and she She's still wonderful. sounds the same. Yeah. And uh, and Brenda will get mad if I tell you that she just turned 71 years old oh. on that stuff, and she still sings like she was uh, yeah. in her 20s she's when something. she's there. Mm -hmm. She's there. And, you know, after uh, her run, she decided she'd rather uh, settle down back to Texas, so she moved back, and oh, okay. and, and and her husband's a lawyer and, and judge in Seguin. Uh, they were, I think, high school yeah, sweethearts, and they were in Nashville Seguin. together. Mm -hmm. And they're, uh, they they settled down Seguin, but she, she just mm -hmm. still sings sings on this. And, and yeah. Dotsie is going to bring her granddaughter out to sing with her oh, on, on uh, Sunday. So That's that exciting. that would be neat. So we worked out there. Mm -hmm. Then Linda Davis is, yeah. is, our, is our last one. She's probably uh, the... A, not a well-known star to get it, but uh, she's probably the most toured star mm -hmm. uh, on the on the hill. Linda had the 1993 uh, duet of the year with Re that won a Grammy with oh, Reba McIntyre, nice. which is uh, "Does He Love You," and mm -hmm. uh, that was mm -hmm. debuted by uh, Reba and, and Linda on the CMA Awards in 1993, nice. and it was a big smash hit. And mm -hmm. that one, she said, so Brenda got a chance to sing it with her in, in Gonzales. And mm -hmm. if you want to see that performance, it's on our website. CactusCountryBand.com on the first page, you can see that. But Linda is just, but she's from Carthage, Texas. Mm -hmm. She's East Texas draw. Oh my goodness, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, uh, on that. Well, she went to Nashville uh, young on that stuff. 
and uh, she she met her husband. She went to work for Reba McIntyre and met her husband, who was playing in Reba McIntyre's band, mm -hmm. Lang Scott. He's fabulous, oh, another wow. fabulous one. And and uh, mm -hmm. this summer they've been married forty years, which in this business is is a lot. Yeah. They toured with Reba for eight years, mm -hmm. and then uh, toured with Kenny Rogers for twenty years. Wow. And that stuff. She is probably the sweetest person mm -hmm. out there, and I, I don't just say that because we, we got to know her in January. We were on a cruise ship with, with her and Lang mm -hmm. that they were performing and did six shows, and everybody on the cruise ship could not believe how personable oh. Linda is oh, and all that. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, I told Linda, you know, I really expected after she had that hit that she would have a, you know, a string of hits and that mm -hmm. stuff. She said, I thought that was a really neat way to she She told me, yeah, but I still get to play the, the Grand Ole Opry five or six times a year, mm -hmm. but my daughter is now a member of the Grand Ole Opry right. mm -hmm. as part of Lady mm -hmm. at Home. So that's where she's living her that's legacy, cool. yeah. and her daughter and her three mm -hmm. grandkids on that. So yeah. those are those are all, all our stars that we work with. Mm -hmm. Then we do bring in a um, uh, headliner, and at Texas Pride we have Gene Watson. Gene Watson. Okay. Gene Watson uh, with uh, five number one hits, mm -hmm. 40 top uh, 20 hits, uh, most people know him, but uh, 14 Carat Mine and Love in the Hot Afternoon, but of course his biggest hit is, is Farewell Party. And Gene's wow. coming all the way from Oklahoma Saturday night yeah. to get down here to, to uh, play Neat. with his, his band. Gene turned 80 last fall. And still putting on, mm -hmm. and we know that 80 years go out because we're friends with, and and have, mm -hmm. we'll be doing our 10th show this July with with uh, Atkins' own Mo Bandy, yeah. and and uh, Mo yeah. so and mm -hmm. Mo turned 80 in February, so he's a little younger than yeah, than I that, and, that. <laughs> and, and uh, it's the most amazing wow. thing working with these artists mm -hmm. that they're in their 80s and yeah. they just uh, I hope I can good. still sing like that when I'm 80. Uh, can you imagine can you still <laughs> work on that that over there so that's amazing mm -hmm. you can still belt it out <laughs> yeah and Sean, you know Sean sounds a good good singer and get over there there and so he can tell you about how well they're, they're still doing that's this. Amazing. so so those are there are artists Sean you may have something to add for what well, you know some of the artists side note, yeah. um, Linda and I were both in Nashville in the early 90s together mm -hmm. and there was a radio promoter uh, down there that was putting together tours for people that could win these trips to go to Nashville. Mm -hmm. And Lynn and I would entertain them. Oh. Yeah, we'd, we'd meet them at a restaurant in mm -hmm. a big dining room or something, and we'd both sing for them. And, <laughs> and so I knew her back in the early 90s. Was she that nice back then? Too? Very, yes. Yes, yeah. very nice. Yeah. The reason I asked that mm -hmm. question is, is I said, with these older entertainers, they're fabulous to work with. And yeah. we've worked with a lot That's of younger right. ones over there. Yeah. And when they're younger, you know, most of them are nice, mm -hmm. but they're you can tell they're intense. They're mm -hmm. a little bit. They're probably just very. You know, they've got so many things going on. Yeah. As they get older, Stressed. they're just glad, as Sean yeah. said, to have people come out to hear them. <laughs> All that stuff. So, but I, you know, I never, I never knew about, mm -hmm. about Linda until the yeah. last six months. So it's good to see she was that way back then. So. And um, do you know what the latest count is? I know David was telling me that they've already sold almost all the tables, I wow. think, the reserve mm -hmm. tables. Okay. And I think we're at like 400 some tickets sold already. Yeah, based on what- And there's what, still room? There's, there's still, no, there's still room. We okay. have plenty, Texas Pride has plenty, of, and they, awesome. they're, they're gonna, they can put some extra tables up. So you can go online yeah. and still get a few yes. tables, but the, we can put more on up there. But yeah, right now we're looking at, with the, with the normal walk up that they have, like they just had a couple weeks for Mo Bandy, right. we're right. a little over 400. Awesome. With, with assuming that the walk up and that stuff, right, but right. but you can still get there's plenty of seats and mm -hmm. Texas Pride. And what's the name of that ticket uh, site? Outhouse yeah. Tickets. Outhouse okay. Tickets. Outhousetickets yeah. .com. Very easy to use. Okay. They charge very little uh, uh, to Great. to add to it, mm -hmm. and you can even they even have insurance that if you think you, you can't make it, you can pay a little extra and you get your ticket mm -hmm. refunded. So yeah. some of that stuff. Very easy site too. Yes. Cool, cool. Yeah. Well, a couple things I want to mention is for those that you know pick up the Wilson County News because we did have a nice feature on this event last in last mm -hmm. week's paper. Um, there's also an ad in the paper that um, tells you about this concert, so you can if you forget what we've said here, you can find it there. Um, and now I want to also remind them again what is the website you just gave to go get tickets from outhouse tickets.com okay and then as far as following what you're doing with your mm -hmm. band 
Yeah, Where with can us, you can follow us on cactuscountryband.com, but probably nowadays, most people follow us on Facebook mm -hmm. slash Cactus Country San Antonio. Nice. And that's that gets more updated because Brenda updates that one. I do the website, and I'm not as fast as she is. So yeah, that's, that's kind of how it tends to be with social media. Yeah, and, and, and there's pictures on there from mm -hmm. events and all that stuff, Great. and you'll see pictures. Okay. And the other one for this event, though, definitely uh, look on Noble, uh, right. dot, Noble Radio on uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of the promos. We have mm -hmm. promos from Gene Watson and uh, Deborah Allen for this mm -hmm. event. And you can always there. tune into the Noble Network. Right. The Noble Network. They have right. stations all across Yeah, so the I was going to mention <laughs> the call numbers. So you, can, you might be able to find them in our area on 92.1 or 96.9. Um, and I think, I know that I come across those and appreciate the classic country when mm -hmm. I'm like driving and trying to find something different, something nice to, to listen to, us, then yeah, you can find too, them on the so. dial. Great. Yeah, yeah. and if you That's if you want a bit. want a real neat picture, you you can probably get pictures of any of these artists. They're mm -hmm. very open and, yeah. and we're and I and you find me and I'll make sure you get to get to meet them. But the other ones you get that we'll have featured out there. Our first show, our headliner was was John Snyder from Dukes of Hazard, oh, wow. And so nice. we had a car right. painted up as General Lee. Oh, how and cool. And so the General yeah. Lee it, uh, is housed at right mm -hmm. now at, at Texas Pride, and it will be there on full oh. display. So if you want your picture with the General Lee mm -hmm. that was that John Snyder, mm -hmm. John Snyder blessed when he was there. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> that stuff. And John's cool. in, uh, playing in, in Georgia this week, so couldn't be with us on Davis this week. Phillip just mm -hmm. loves to do unique things like that when yeah. he's promoting That's something. That's so cool. So it's really it's so neat creative. that he did that. Yeah. And I just want to personally thank him and the yeah, Noble absolutely. Network for including mm -hmm. me in this because yeah. it's, a, it's a great honor. Yeah, it is. And how can we f uh, follow you? Are you on Facebook? Uh, you just, you have... Yeah, Facebook, and you'll have to watch. I have Sean O'Brien Band on Facebook. Okay. And I also have Sean O'Brien page, so Good. you can go to Website. either one. And, awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. Just uh, come on out in September. Mm -hmm. I'll be at the Opry again here great. in Florida. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. The first Thursday of the month, I yes, think it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. So we can watch. And I'll make the, for, for the, the official challenge for Sean. Now, Sean yes. didn't tell you that, that back in the day, he was on American Gladiator. Yes. And he's <laughs> very he's that. very athletic. Yes. And so my fiddler who who is only she's only, she's only 39 years old and, and playing this stuff but mm -hmm. she has seen Sean do this for us. So she wants Sean mm -hmm. while he's singing on Sunday to do a handstand while he was singing Watermelon <laughs> <Yeah>. Crawl. <laughs> and and so so there's oh, the challenge for Sean from mm -hmm. Regina is uh, can do it. and it, yeah he'd have to go on the dance floor. I don't know if yeah. you can see him doing it on that stage. I her because that stage is like 30 feet in the air. It now, seems like it is. Well, now if you did on the drum riser, that would be real unique. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with the Texas Pride setup, but the stage is really it high. Is. And yeah. the drummer is really high. Yeah. So if you did it up there, everybody <laughs> could see you on that stuff. Uh, really uh, though at our older age, I don't know that we want to. Uh, yeah, I don't uh, know if I want to risk that. Risk that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think we've come to the end of the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, remind them again where they can go to get the tickets. Yeah. Go to outhousetickets.com, or you can walk in. Uh, they'll be they'll be uh, on on site sales that day at oh, Texas great. Pride Barbecue. Okay. They will either way you can do them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we expect uh, to sell 100 150 mm -hmm. tickets there at the door, so you can do that as well. There, but right now, if you want to get a table, it's best to get that in advance. In advance uh, yeah. But and but great. but there probably be a few tables left sure. uh, on that day. Day. And if not, we can. Ha the Texas Pride can hold over 900 people. So, wow, so if, if you want to say it, we're that's not setting it up for, for that being that busy, but yeah. it can, okay. and that stuff. So. Yeah. So be sure to check this out and get your tickets for Sunday's May 19th concert, which is God, Family, and Country Legends that are bringing you these country legends. That's going to be amazing, and we look forward to hearing yeah. all about it. And as Sean said, listen to Noble Radio yes. Network uh, from the mm -hmm. calls that right. that uh, Kristen gave mm -hmm. you, and and that, and you can pick them up a bunch awesome. in this yeah. area. It's very from patriotic, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. also. Yes. Love that. Love it. Wow. Well, we thank yeah, you. Yeah, it does honor veterans. I didn't mention that. Now right. that Sean Sean brings that yeah. up, uh, because he, uh, David has put together was about forty placards. That right. tell the stories of, of Medal of Honor winners, mm -hmm. veterans, really nice. and they oh, show yeah. them around the so that people can uh, oh, before the show and that. So nice. Yeah, it's really he's mm -hmm. been using those and all. He had them done very professionally, and uh, very as nice. as Sean mm -hmm. pointed out, he likes to do unique things, and this is something to honor oh, veterans awesome. that that he did for show, That's and great. they will be out there so you can see all about right. these veterans that that he he uh, likes to honor. Wonderful. Yeah. 
Wow. Well, it's going to be a great day, so you all go check it out. And do share this video far and wide. Let people know about this wonderful event that's happening in our neck of the woods. And thank you so much. And extend our thanks to David also for this opportunity to have you as a presence here. And just tell us this all this information. Everybody's loving um, what they've heard um, about the radio stations. Let's uh, see. Sherry asked if I'll post the radio stations in the comments, and I will. Thank you. Um, and that they just really enjoyed hearing all these stories that you told us about the country legends. So thank you. Yeah, and here's your chance to get out and, meet, right. and, and meet, meet them. You can, you, I, mean, I, I can guarantee you, you can meet them and take pictures with yes. them. They're that personable yes. and, and not with mm -hmm. uh, holding. So, right. so you want to get so there and they'll, they'll be there all afternoon. We're not letting them go back to Nashville. Have a great time. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, well, thank you so much for being here today. And we want to thank you for joining us today as well. And I'd like to thank our sponsor, the Price Way, which includes the dealerships Price, Chrysler, Dodge, Ram and Jeep and Richardson Brothers Chevrolet located here in Floorsville on 181 next to each other. You can shop all makes and models as well as a huge service department and even careers. So check them out. And thank you guys. That concludes our conversation and join us again next Wednesday when we'll be here again live um, on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You, you do a good job.